While no decision has been made, Kamloops Thompson School District officials say the district may not be operational if a COVID-19 vaccine policy were to be put in place. If the board were to put into effect a vaccination policy, we need to be sure that we'll have enough staff so our schools can operate uh, and we can continue to operate safely. According to SD73, of the over 2,300 surveys sent out to staff asking for input on possible policies, 60% of staff responded. Of the responses, 84% of staff were in favor of proof of vaccination, 46% for mandatory rapid testing, and 75% were in favor of a district-wide vaccine policy. Only 39% of bus drivers responded to the survey, and of the custodians who responded, 21% were unvaccinated. Nixon says the staffing issues faced by SD73 could be exacerbated by potential staffing changes that might come about if a vaccine policy were implemented. Specifically, she said the district would have a hard time filling custodian and bus driver jobs. But we did and are aware that we currently have a hard time getting enough custodians and bus drivers and uh, educational assistants. So it's always on our mind in that committee that we need to be operational. If the board agreed to not make staff provide proof of vaccination, an alternative presented by the committee was a mandate for rapid testing for unvaccinated employees. You know, in other words, if we have custodians and bus drivers, educational assistants and teachers, and there would be a shortage and rapid testing would prevent that shortage, we would happily invest in rapid testing. The board estimates a $250,000 cost to implement a rapid testing policy. In very general terms, the cost would be worth it because we would be able to be operational, we think. The district is currently in step one of its five-step plan regarding a decision on a possible vaccine mandate. After presenting its findings to the board, the committee will be moving on to voluntarily collecting proof of vaccination status from employees to get a better understanding of who is unvaccinated and if it would be possible to keep schools running without these staff. Sydney Chisholm, Castanet News, Kamloops.